All right, so what we're going to do first here is we're going to take our assembly lube. And I just like to squirt a little bit in the cylinder wall. Just go right around the whole thing. Wet it. Like I said, you don't have to goop it all up. Just a little bit of work on there, a couple thousandths worth. And I like to just put some on the piston. Work it in with my hand. Just a light coating. Some people actually dunk these in oil, which I really don't recommend. It's a real big mess and it's not really necessary. As long as you get this piston wet, it's going to be fine. So make sure you touch all the aluminum on here. Okay? Double check your piston ring gaps. Make sure they're 180 off. You got the top one here, center one here. Okay? Next, we're going to take our piston ring compressor tool and install that on the piston. Now, uh, we're going to install the piston in this way, being this is the front of the piston here. So I'm going to install my tool facing upward in a convenient area where I can hold onto the tool. Clamp it on there good and tight. Don't want it to slip out. I'm going to go ahead and start it in the cylinder here. Remember, you never want to force anything when you're doing this. Everything should fit nicely. Look up here, check your rod, make sure it's going to go past your crankshaft. Now I'm going to take a rubber handled mallet to tap this in. And again, if it seems like the piston stops, or if it's jamming up trying to put it in, just stop right there and take it back out and inspect everything because you don't want to damage your piston or your piston rings while you're doing this. So just tap it in nice and slowly, little taps at a time. Went right in, no problem. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hold on to this rod end up here and just slowly guide it up. Well, it goes around this crankshaft journal. In fact, I'll move it over here so we can see a better view. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to guide this with my fingers looking straight down it. There, that's the view we want right there. See, we're looking straight down the crankshaft. As you can see, it's a little bit cockeyed. So what I'm all I have to do is hold on to it. You don't have to muscle it. Just barely turn it with your fingers as you're tapping, and it'll move. Try to get it on there as straight as you possibly can. So we're going to go ahead and continue to tap it on here. And all the while guiding it so it doesn't bind up on anything. And there we go. Attach the crankshaft. And remember, put a good amount of assembly lube on that bearing and the crankshaft before you put this together. It's really important.